a passive victory. Romans 8, 37 says it literally means that we are hyper-conquerors. <clears throat> we are preeminent victorious. Come on, church. You're more than a conqueror today. You are going to help me get this word over to those that are not conquerors today. How many conquerors do I have in the house today? Because we are more than conquerors. See, this text points out that believers are not left to their own resources in their own side. Now, we walk and we say we are Christians. But then we have a tendency to want to take on the world's attitude of everything that comes by, it catches me. We sit back and we wait for it to come up on us and then we begin to claim it. You cannot be a conqueror claiming everything that the world brings by. Every sickness, every disease that comes by, speak the word of God over your life. Be more than a conqueror. You know, I have folks that work says, well, I'm catching this. I say, you can go ahead and catch it all you want, but I'm not going to catch it. Because my I am healthy. I may have makes the pain, but it won't be long because I have claimed victory right. over that. Yes. The text goes on, it does not put a time period or a condition or when it is on a regular or an occasional basis. When we are weak or doing one's weakness, the spirit continually helps. And whether our weakness is physical, Emotional or spiritual disability. That's what the word says here. That's a definition, an explanation. But that don't mean that we've got to yield to everything that comes along. We can be weak in our bodies. We can be weak in our spirit. And I can share with you all there are times that when I feel like God is nowhere around me. But I don't give up. There are times when you feel like you're in a dry place. How many of y'all that can understand where I'm coming from? You feel like, oh God, where are you? I mean, there are times when you feel like you're just overflowing with the presence of the Lord. Then there are other times when you feel like no matter how far you reach out, how high you scream, then you say, but God is not there. You just don't feel it. But I'm here to tell you, God is there. He is testing our patience. He wants us to wait on Him. He wants us to be able to just stop and allow Him to speak to us. We are more than Christ. See, the evidence of our weakness is that we do not know what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit Himself comes to our rescue and intercede and keep interceding for us with groanings that words cannot express. Amen. The word intercede occurs only in the New Testament. It means approach or appeal to someone. That is the one who searches our heart. The spirit of the Lord. See, in verse 28, Paul goes on to say that Paul says, Christians know intuitively, though we may not always fully understand. And this, that's the way God has designed it. He don't want us to understand and know everything. Because he wants us to what? Rely and depend on him. And see. And in a sense that in all things, God works for the good of those who, are, who love him. Those who are, that have been called according to his purpose. That's why pastors teach you all the time about knowing your purpose and knowing your gift. Amen. So the Lord can utilize you. Because before you were born, he knew that you were going to come here and he knew you had a purpose. Uh -huh. uh, many of us in the world today, uh, many in the world today have lost their purpose. They have lost that direction because they are following the wrong people and the wrong path. Yeah. They are looking in the wrong direction. They are going down the wrong street. 
Then they say, well, I don't have a purpose. My life don't have a meaning. That's because they have disconnected themselves from an almighty God. Yeah. It's time to reconnect back to the vine. It's time to reconnect back to Jesus Christ. Where it goes on to say that those who have been called, you know, God has called us according to that purpose. Have you accepted that call? Have you accepted the call of the Lord? Many of us are running. I ran for a while myself. I ran from the call to come to the ministry to stand before you here. And I made the dumbest mistake, like a lot of people do. I told the Lord I was in church one day, me and one of the, the superintendent of the Sunday school, he and I were laughing, and we both said, if God want us to preach, he'll have to put us flat on our back. <laughs> sure enough, it happened to me. Little did I know the power of the words at the time of what I was saying. So many people, God has touched your heart. God has called you. He has also told you what he wants you to do. But you are running. And I'll say to you now, stop running from the Lord. Because I think back over how God has blessed me since I accepted the call. That if I had only came when he first called. My God, my God, my God. Church, it is time for us to wake up. It is time for us to wake up. Life is passing us by in a minute. We come to church. We're in the pew. And you said, this is the only place I'm supposed to be. But no, God has called us to do work. To be busy about what he's called us to do. Yes. Don't allow anyone to put you in a box and tell you this is where you should be. Listen to the voice of God. Adhere to the voice of God. Because God is going to tell you before he tell me. God is going to tell you before he tell the pastor what he wants you to do. So a lot of times we run to the pastor and ask the pastor to define our role. But God has already told you. You can bring it to him and then confirm confirmation. But we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. See, God foreknew us, means that God knows us. He knows all about you. You can't hide anything from him. See, foreknew or foreknowledge involve more than establishing a relationship between God and the believer. It involves the goal or the end of that relationship. That relationship that you have with Christ Jesus. He knows all about it. God knows how everything in your life is going to turn out. Before it happened, God knows. We are shocked. We are surprised. We get all bent out of shape. But God knows it. Some of you may say this sounds like a hard.